What's up guys, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys 12 different juggling drills that will help you improve your juggling, your first touch, your finishing, and your passing. Whenever I start training a new player, I always start them off with learning how to juggle with their laces and not their toes. This style of juggling is one of the most important fundamentals every player should start off with. So let's get started. For the first drill, we will start juggling with just a tennis ball. Even if you can't juggle a lot, that's okay. This alone will help you improve your foot eye coordination. And once you do this for five to 10 minutes, juggling with a regular soccer ball will be much easier to make contact with. The second drill will be transitioning into using a regular soccer ball. The main focus of this variation is just to focus on making good contact with the ball and making sure there's little to none of backspin on the ball. After juggling with the tennis ball for 5 to 10 minutes, making contact with the ball should seem easier. The third drill is a progression of drill number 2 and you will later see that the next couple of drills will be just progressions of each other. For this drill, you will now take only two touches. For each leg, one touch will be one low, and the second touch will be kicking the ball up high. And then you'll be alternating feet. So give this a watch a couple times so you understand. So all you're gonna do is control, hit high, control the other foot, and then high. So it's one low, one high. Drill number four, inside the foot juggling. You'll want to do this for about five to 10 minutes. If you're having trouble with making contact with the foot, you can do these two stretches that will help improve your mobility and to help you make better contact with the ball. You wanna hold these stretches for about 15 to 30 seconds and do it on both sides. Drill number five, inside the foot, outside the foot. So first you're gonna take a touch with the inside of the foot and then do an outside the foot touch. If you're having difficulty doing this drill, you can start off just starting with one foot and then you could proceed on using both feet. Drill number six, outside the foot. So in this drill, you're just gonna be practicing with one foot outside the foot juggling, just focusing on trying to make good contact and developing that muscle memory of the certain movement. As you get better, you can do several different other variations. Drill number seven, outside the foot, over the head. So this is basically a progression of drill number six. Now you're gonna involve both feet and you're gonna try to hit it back over across your head and go back and forth. Drill number eight, over the head juggling. So in this drill, all you're gonna do is kick it over your head, take one touch and control it, and then want to pop it back over. Drill number nine, running while juggling. I think this variation is very underrated and it's very good. This could act as almost conditioning because it requires a lot of focus and it gets very fatiguing after a while. So give this a try. Drill number 10, zigzag juggling. This is a progression from drill number nine. This required even more focus from the previous drill and be a little bit more difficult. You can spread out as many cones as you want and mix and match the distances. Give this a try. Drill number 11, 
over the cone. All you're going to do is take a touch and pop it over the cone as if it was a defender. If any of you guys watch Ronaldinho play, you probably know about that one play that he made where he kept on juggling, he popped it over like two defenders head and maintained possession. Drill requires a lot of focus and it's just a very good and technical drill to practice on. Drill number 12, testing your touch. This is a simple drill that we've all done before with friends and by ourselves. All you're going to do is juggle it a couple of times and then kick the ball as high as you can and then control the ball and try to control it as close as possible to your body. You don't want the touch to go far. You want to maintain it as close as possible and control it like Ronaldinho. Thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe for weekly videos. And if you want any specific drills, comment down below and I'll make a video for you guys. So thank you again guys and hope everyone has a wonderful day.